So we're here today at the ID Tech X show in Santa Clara, California, and I'm talking to Mr. Ian Russell, who is the COO at Peretta. Um, so Ian, can you tell us a little bit about your company and background and what you're showing us here today? Okay, well, Peretta is a startup uh, company. We've, um, we've been formed out of, a spin out of the National Physical Labs in the UK. Um, we are here to exhibit our process for adding conductivity into, into textiles. So we allow conductive patterns to be printed directly onto the textile. Our process uh, results in the textile itself becoming conductive. Um, uh, the process allows electronic circuits to be assembled directly onto, onto the textile. Um, and the key thing that is different about our process is it retains all the original performance characteristics of the fabric. So the fabric remains breathable, stretchable, the handle and drape of the fabric are not affected. So what do you see in terms of, so there's several companies offering other solutions for when it comes to inks or different functionalization when it comes to that. What are, you mentioned keeping the qualities of the fabric. What are the other ways in which you see yourself as like the differentiation that you have with these products? Well, if we, if we can just pause on that for a minute, I mean, I think there are alternative technologies, as you mentioned, you mm -hmm. can use conductive inks or you can stitch in or weave in conductive sure. yarns. Each of those processes, well, they are functional, but they do have a negative impact on the way the fabric behaves. Mm -hmm. And if you look at this transition, which is going on in the wearables market from products that are you know, component-based in enclosures mm -hmm. to garments that can be worn over a long period of time that have been functionalized with intelligence mm -hmm. and electronics, for that transition to take place, you've got to have garments that are comfortable to wear and can be worn over, over a, a sustained period of time. That's what we refer to as truly wearable, and that is what our technology is enabling. Um, the fact that none of, the, none of the, the, the performance characteristics of the fabric are impacted by our process, that's the key thing that makes us different. And then I guess you can work with things like encapsulation or different functionalization on top of what you have, but you keep the fabric underneath? Is that sort of what uh, you're saying? That's seeing? right, yeah. I mean, again, it's, it's the, because we apply, we apply a, a a thin metallic coating to the individual fibers that make up your textile. Mm -hmm. That means the textile itself is functionalized, the textile becomes conductive. Um, we, we, the, the process we use uses standard commercial printing equipment and immersion processes. Mm -hmm. uh, it uses fairly standard chemistry. The materials used are low cost and it's additive so there's no waste. Um, so uh, what that, and, and another important characteristic of the process, it can be applied at any stage in manufacture, so it can sure. be applied, applied to the original textile on the roll or to a finished garment like the one we've got here. Fantastic. So you mentioned the technology came from NPL, the yep. National Physical Laboratory in the UK. Perhaps yep. you can tell us a little bit about that process, how, sort of forming the technology, spinning it out into the company, where you're at today. Yeah, um, well, the, the uh, MPL, as you know, is, is a well-renowned scientific research establishment. They do research in a number of areas. They had been carrying out this re research into, into e-textiles, and they got to the stage where it had reached a point where they thought it was sufficiently interesting to explore commercializing it. So we worked with um, uh, Midven, who are, who are uh, an early-stage venture capital firm. They provided some initial investment. Uh, MPL licensed the technology out to, to Peretta, gave Peretta okay. an exclusive license to the technology. And since then, Midven had been joined by some private investors and the company was, the company was spun out in 2007, uh, 2017. Um, we're now in the process of, of commercializing the technology. We are looking for development partners, joint development partners who are interested in building e-textile based products. Um, we see ourselves working with those with those partners to um, refine and take the process into manufacture to help prototype and develop their, their retail cell products. So when you talk about these products, the interest that you're seeing, is are there any specific product areas or application areas where you're seeing a particular uh, amount of interest at the moment? Um, I, I think there are various sectors where there's interest and the, the nature of the interest varies, varies from, from sector to sector. So it could be sports apparel where you're looking at um, measuring physiological parameters. It's, there are healthcare applications. Uh, wound management is, is an area where we've seen interest. We've got interest in transportation where you're looking to, to functionalize upholstery. So there's, there's a whole range of, of different application areas. The ones that interest us most are where it's critical to 
um, for the for the fabric to to retain its properties mm -hmm. and be be wearable and and usable over over a long duration. Excellent. So we're, we're just here on kind of the first afternoon of the event yeah. here at the Alitech X show, but how's your experience been so far in this environment? Uh, it's great. It's been a really good show so far for us. I think the launch pad where we, we've got an awarded a, a, a place at the launch pad by ID Tech X, that's been excellent for us. It's been a really good show. We've had lots of interesting visitors. Just a shame I haven't had enough time to get into the conference. I would have liked to have done more than that, but it's been great for us so far. Well, fantastic. It's good to hear and keep you nice and busy over the next couple of days. Uh, Ian, thank you very much. It's great talking to Thanks, you. James. And all the best with the uh, rest of the show and, of course, with the company and product. Thanks. Good speaking with you.